Hey, welcome to the guide. I'm Yo. And I'm Will. And uh, here's your weekly update. Uh, actually, been working on a lot of reviews this week, and we'll get to those here in just a moment. Uh, first, uh, big update from Nintendo. They finally announced a, a substantial list of games and when they're going to release. That was like one of the missing pieces after they announced price mm -hmm. and release date, and we wanted to know exactly what games are we going to be able to play. And uh, we also want to know more about their online plan. No details on that yet. But it's good to know the games that are coming out both on November 18th and then in the launch window, which actually extends out to March uh, 2013. Yeah, and I think it's going to have a really uh, big effect on people's decisions whether or not they're actually going to go for the Wii U. Because, okay. I mean, if you're on the fence about it and you're really into Assassin's right. Creed 3, then right. you might take the leap. Good, good point. Okay, let's start with that. You know, they announced that Assassin's Creed 3 Black Ops 2 will be available November 18th. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. And then you're going to have games like uh, Batman uh, Arkham City will be available right. on November 18th. And then in the launch window, you got stuff like Madden 13 and uh, some other games like that. So the question is, do you think Nintendo's done a good enough job to A, either convince people that theirs is the console to choose when it comes to Black Ops and Assassin's Creed 3, and B, is it the console where they would want to go back and revisit things like Mass Effect 3, Madden, and Batman? I think that uh, Nintendo hasn't really proved why they're going to be better with those uh, large market games, right. because with the technology of the Wii U, they use they use more examples from things like Nintendo Land right. to show off the skills of the console right. than all these other games. So. I don't know if you're really only going to be playing the, the Black Ops 2 if it's really worth it to switch from an Xbox or a PS3. See, I think there's so many people who are just used to Xbox 360 and PS3 when it comes to those. It's going to be kind of hard to change their mentality. Like, yeah. oh, maybe I should play it on a new console. It's not going to be a tough sell. Overall, though, what was your impression of the releases, uh, especially on November 18th, the, the release list for November 18th? What did you think of that overall? I think it was really decent. Okay. I mean, there's there's some some titles that, that we mentioned, and then also uh, like Ninja Gaiden, the right. Transformers Prime, right. uh, the Epic Mickey 2, right. things like that. That right. Nintendo's actually bringing something to the table mm -hmm. for a console release, which seems like it hasn't happened in a while. Yeah. And so I think they did a a decent job with. Is it is games. it a strong enough? Launch, uh, launch release list. Is it, is it strong enough to really make people go, man? There's some great games for that console. I need to buy it. Uh, that's the trouble, though, because okay. I feel like it's coming out the same time that all these great games are releasing for the other consoles. Right. And if if you're already a gamer, and they're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time there's spending not the extra money. There's not enough that's unique for Nintendo, is what you're saying. Yes, because you got you, go. you got Super Mario Brothers. Uh, for the Wii U, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, and Nintendo Land. But beyond that, like, what triple A exclusive title is there? It's a good question. Okay, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and I've been saying all along they need more than just Mario. If they could have gotten Pikmin three, and I know mm. that's not quite as recognizable as like you know Metroid or Zelda, right. or even Luigi and Luigi's Mansion or something like that. But even if they would have gotten Pikmin 3 to launch on launch date, I think that would have helped them substantially. And then the launch window games, I was kind of like 50-50 because there's some good titles in there, but then some of it was a little too reminiscent of how the Wii had a high quantity of games that were lower qua quality games, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I don't think it's really a, uh, especially when we're approaching the holiday season, right. quantity over quality is not gonna pay the bills for Nintendo. Yeah, going through March 13th, yeah, they got 29 games uh, between November 18th and, and um, March 2013, but like half of them, I'm kind of like, that yeah, well, what is like, what is that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, we got the full list for you at our website, GameAndMovieGuide.com, so you can go through and take a look at it. And overall, I think it's a good list. I don't know if it's strong enough uh, mm -hmm. for Nintendo launching the Wii U. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But, but at least there is a list. Right, like, right. Unlike the, at least the, we DM, have it. the 3DS. <laughs> so. Exactly. And there's a lot more. They did learn from the 3DS. Let's give yeah. them that. They did learn. They have way more titles and better quality titles mm -hmm. overall yeah. than they did for the 3 So they did learn from that. So, yeah, good for them. Uh, <laughs> moving on, let's talk about some quality titles. Borderlands 2. You've been working on that review. And I just have. Give us like a, a brief version of that. And they can see the full one at, at our website. Uh, it's a... I, I like to say it's like a space western first person shooter uh, Fallout 3 meets a comic book 
basically. Wow, that's quite 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 the mashup. But, <laughs> yeah. But is that good? <laughs> In my opinion, yeah. Okay, I've been having okay. a lot of fun with Borderlands <laughs> okay. 2, and uh, we have a full review on it, but yeah. it, just quickly, it definitely stepped it up from the first one, okay. and I think if you were a fan of the first one, right. you will definitely be a fan of the second. Well, check out our full review of Borderlands 2. You can do that at our website, GameMovieGuide.com. And then a couple movies coming out this week. Uh, one was Hotel Transylvania with mm -hmm. Adam Sandler in it and a bunch of his buddies. <laughs> Dracula and Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, uh, and first of all, if you're a fan of classic movies, like our, our friend Steve-O loves the old monster movies, right. you're going to love this film. Second of all, it was really quite surprising. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you why. You're going to have to read the review to find out why. But just, just in a family sense, as a family movie, it strongly surprised me in a very important way where I'm like, wow, I, I, I'm so impressed that they did that in this movie. It was a great movie. It's the type of movie that me and my family would want to watch every year at Halloween. You know, you gotcha, like yeah. put it with your Halloween decorations and you pull those out every year. It's like, oh yeah, let's watch it. You know, like you do with Christmas <laughs> yeah. movies. That's what this movie was. So you can read our full review of Hotel Transylvania at GameMovieGuide.com. And then also coming out this week is Looper. Possibly. Uh, I've been hearing from from critics, they yeah. say, one of the, the best sci-fi movies of the year. Yes. Uh, I think it it could be very much the sleeper hit of the year. Mm. Uh, Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis uh, in, in a time travel, twist your brain type of sci-fi thing. But <laughs> right. it, the cool thing about it is it, the sci-fi isn't like Star Trek sci-fi. You know, it's like mm. very grounded, kind of limited sci-fi. The elements that are there, they make sense for the story, but they just don't get all grandiose with it. Right. And it's more of a character study than, than about being a cool sci-fi movie. Uh, it is a gritty action film. It's rated R for a reason, and you can find out all, everything that we thought about Looper when you visit our website at GameOfMovieGuide.com. But yes, probably one of the more intriguing movies to come out this year. Mm. Uh, we'll tell you all about that at our website. And I think that's going to wrap things up for this week. Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah. All right. So if you want to find out more, uh, we briefly touched on a lot of stuff. Uh, visit our website, GameOfMovieGuide.com, or you can keep up with us with uh, social media. Yeah, if you're on Facebook, it's Facebook.com forward slash Game and Movie Guide. We've got Google Plus and Twitter, so you can find us. Stay up to date, and it'll all work out. <laughs>